there welcome to a new segment show me what you've learned so today we will be tackling about the region of the Torrens title system its features and characteristics and also its significance to the agrarian principle so stay tuned because all of these topics will be discussed in a single video My question now is, what exactly is a Torrance title system? So according to what I have gathered this past few days, Torrance title system is a type of land registration ownership developed and implemented first in South Australia under the Real Property Act of 1858. Are you wondering why this was called Torrance? This was called Torrance system since Robert Torrance is the one who introduced and implemented this system, who is also the registered of deeds in South Australia back in 1850. Under the Torrance system, the government guaranteed all the landowners the property in which they are registered this was first enacted in the philippines way back in 1903 in the form of act 496 which is called now the land registration act 1903 this was brought by the americans it is a copy of the land registration act of massachusetts in 1898 so let's go now talk about the features and the characteristics of this title. So my question now is, what exactly is the features and characteristics of this title? Firstly, Torrance title provides an indefeasible in the feasible title to the landowner which refers to the fact that the registered title of the real property indicates who has the priority interest or ownership in such property so meaning ito yung titulong hindi na dapat pinagdududahan pa second the registered name or the listed landowner in the register is the one we recognize as the owner of the land. To add, this title should not be questioned anymore or doubted. For instance, the registered name in the title is Cherry J. Thus, this person is the only identified person as the owner of the land no matter what gossips or stories arises from about the ownership of the property face thirdly there is no need to dig anywhere who owns the land since there is already a name registered with the land which serves as a conclusive evidence to the landowner there is also no need to research or deepen the research about the previous landowner since the name is already stated in papers. And lastly, if the land already under the torrent system, the land cannot be taken anymore by other individuals using adverse possession. This means that even if there is another party or person illegally occupying this land, the property is still cannot be taken from the title holder. Nevertheless, Torrance title holder cannot, can only be defeated if there is a proven illegal activity that happened within the registration of the ownership or the dealing of the selling of the land. Mm. Mm. So how about the connection of the Torrance title system to the agrarian policy? To understand this, let's first define what is agrarian reform. 
So the Department of Agrarian Reform is the leading agency of the agrarian reforms that undertakes improvement and development of programs beneficiaries. This includes the land distributors, the agriculture production, the ownership, the neural security for and by which the land teller to improve their quality of life. So with this matter, Torrance title system is the concluding evidence with the aforementioned benefits programs of the Department of Agrarian Reforms. So that concludes our topic for today. See you soon in the next Share Me What You've Learned segment in the next video. This is Cherry Jane Obuskagan signing out.